The army of Hindler led by Oberon finally begins its attack on Ovis. Mont and the allied armies draw three lines of defense to defend Ovis. But the forces of Hindler tear through them with ease. Yet Mont stands unshaken. The three lines were a decoy, part of a greater decisive strategy. The clash between Mont and Oberon is fierce. However, the battle is disrupted by the arrival of the Realm Scourge, leaving the evacuation of the people to Mont. Oberon faces their new foe. Oracle, Chapter 27, Passage 4 The Hour of the Twilight the weapon of destruction that fell into Ardra from a world eons in the future. Soon it shall enter a short slumber, blanketed in thick miasma. Respite for the weapon will not last long. Once it reawakens, it shall rend in the lands of men, devouring their souls. Of that I am well aware. Amnilis, what am I supposed to do? That is the knowledge I must have. You know as well as I do. We are now at a point from which there is no going back. One false step and the future might slip from our hands and be lost forever. Amnilis, I beg of you. Oracle, Post Chapter 27 Amnalis? The Hour of Despair The Castle of Spiraled Horns Light gathers the dark can be repelled by deeper darkness. It is futile. Amnilis! The six blades, negative emotions, all useless. Devour all. Consume all. Help me, Gilgamesh. I, I shall feast on your soul. Amnilus. Used with the Realm Scourge in order to suppress it, but gradually it consumes you. There can be no other explanation. Which means it now uses your soul as a source of energy. The Realm Scourge will undergo further transformation into an even more powerful existence than it already is now. And when it does, what is my next course of action to be?
King Oberon out of here! It is useless. We would never make it in time. We have to stop the monstrosity ourselves. <laughs> Then aim for its forehead. Hit it with everything you have got. Understood! King... Oh... King Oberon. No! <gasps> Visions? But... I am... unworthy. Allow me to take it from here. You two, escort Oberon to safety. But... Put your lives on the line to hold back the Realm Scourge while my men and I evacuated the nearby villagers. Now I shall do the same for you! <sighs> Quickly now! Go! Very well. Please, be safe. Here! I stand against you now! Here goes nothing! Sorry we took so long, Your Majesty. Both the surrounding villages and Heindler's forces have been escorted to safety. Thank you. Your actions have saved many a life. That won't be the case if we can't do something about this, though. How do we defeat such an enormous monster? <gasps> it almost appears as if it is laughing. Don't think you can run from us! Wait! It did the same thing last time. Last time? After slaughtering so many of our people and devouring their souls, the Realm Skirts simply wandered off to rest. <sighs> Gilgamesh explained it to us like this. That it does so in order to digest the souls it consumed, or to rest its vital components. Then this is the perfect time to strike! No. It seems that it discharges Miasma as a defense mechanism while it rests. It would be too risky. Then the Miasma that enveloped the whole of Leonis was emitted by the Realm Scourge. It would appear that way, yes. This monstrosity is connected to the enormous crystal that was buried beneath our castle? Then, the duty of Leonis's royal family to serve as guardians was to ensure that this very threat was never awoken. Huh. 
I understand that approaching the Realm Scourge as it rests would be no easy task. It seems the only option we have, then, is to wait for it to start moving again and hit it head on. Do we even stand a chance of beating it, though? Uh, forgive me. This isn't the time for being doubtful. Your concern is warranted. To be honest, I have no idea of our chances. Your Majesty... Even Oberon and his armies seemed unable to hurt the thing before it tore through them. I imagine we won't fare any better given our current fighting power. Then what do we do? We shall require all the kingdoms of Ardra to stand against it together. <sighs> well met, Grimsback. I came to thank you for before. There is no need to bow your head to me. We may indeed be enemies, however, in order to defeat that thing, the Realm Scourge, we will need your strength as well. So please. I am afraid that is not a decision I can make at my own discretion. Forgive me. How fares Oberon? The confidence my king gained from felling Jaden and acquiring his ring seems to have left him. I fear it may require some time for him to get back on his feet again. Moreover... There is yet more? <sighs> Speak freely. I shall try to help in whatever ways I am able. This is not the kind of matter one should reveal to the leader of an enemy nation. However, Kingmont, I trust that I may confide this in you. The whereabouts of King Oberon's younger sister, Princess Elia, remain unknown. She was last seen when she departed for Rundal Castle in order to take her place at Jaden's side. I see. Understood. I promise we shall send word the moment we learn anything. You have our thanks. Speaking of which, allow me to share what we have learned regarding the Realm Scourge. After it consumes the souls of those in its wake, it seems to need to rest for a time. But it is conjectured that during that time, the monstrosity discharges a miasma, rendering any approach to it nigh impossible. I see. So that explains why the beast up and left. Exactly. After a short time, however, it shall certainly arise back into action. I understand. We are indebted to you in various ways now, it seems. These debts shall be repaid. How is our king? His Majesty was finally able to enter the royal carriage. Perhaps it was the terror of being unable to fell the Realm Scourge, but he was extremely anxious about riding inside the carriage. It is possible he simply did not wish to be enclosed in a space from which there was no immediate way out of. Or it could have triggered memories of Likaros and the cell he was imprisoned in. Elia, where are you, Elia? He has been in this state for a good while now. If only Princess Elia were here to comfort him. 
We can only hope Her Highness is under the safeguard of Isaac and Effinger. According to King Maud of Leonis, the Realm Scourge has entered a state of inactivity for the time being, which buys us a brief window of opportunity. Let us withdraw back to Rundal Castle and reorganize our forces. I concur. That seems the best option for now. I am glad to see you all safe and sound. The Realm Scourge has withdrawn somewhere beyond our knowledge, offering us a brief respite. However, this is not but a fleeting moment. It shall eventually reawaken and resume its path of carnage and destruction. What we need to do at present is mend our wounds and restore our spirits in order to be ready for the coming battle. Fortunately, Heinler has agreed to an armistice. I suggest we convene at Ovis Castle in order to strategize further. Lady Ketone, I bring information. Understood. What is the matter, Ketone? It appears Saiga intends to commence hostilities with Goga. They hope to settle the dispute between the two shinobi villages then. Correct. Hmm. King Mont? They say the Realm Scourge is drawn to the departing of souls. I can only pray this does not endanger you and the people of Saiga. As far as that menace is concerned, I dare say you needn't worry. For the time being, at least. What makes you think that? The Realm Scourge seems to require rest in order to digest the souls it has consumed. So, until it has completed resting, the Realm Scourge should not move? If that were not the case, there would be no need for it to abandon us on the battlefield and move elsewhere. That seems logical. That said, to be safe, I think the Shinobi clans need to settle their dispute as quickly as possible. Understood, Your Majesty. Do you require reinforcements? No. This is a matter for our clans to settle ourselves. I see. Then I only have one command for you. Anything you wish. You are to come back alive. Do you hear? Yes, Your Majesty. We shall settle this. And return to King Mont's side without fail. Is something the matter? Come on. No need to be so fighty. Rebelka? These two are not our allies. I wouldn't say we're your enemies either, though. <laughs> Rebelka. What did you see? Judging by their get-up, it was probably someone from Heindler. But why, though? Uh. Huh? What are we looking at? Jeter. Who's Jeter? One of the Six Fangs. Hmm. A member of the Six Fangs in bed with Goga, huh? I smell 
blood, faint though it may be. Most impressive that you could sense it too. Do not mock me. It was no jape. I was genuinely surprised. Did you notice it too? Uh, what might you be talking about? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Has Heindler officially joined forces with the Goga clan? As far as I know, that would be out of the question. My brother despises Goga from his very being. Well, we can sort out who's in cahoots with who later, I guess. For now, our concern should be the fact the scent of blood is fresh. You reckon someone just got hacked and slashed? But who could it be? If we can catch that Jeter fellow, I'll squeeze him and squish him until he spills the beans. I'm sure you could. But it's probably wise not to do anything that might draw attention to us. <laughs> Don't tell me you fear for my well-being. Of course I do, Your Highness. You are King Jaden's betrothed, after all. <laughs> Perhaps we should follow the sin of blood and see where it leads us. Agreed. Jeter is a member of the anti Rundall faction. Well, that's a juicy tidbit. Though I am sure he likes to think he hides it. I am also quite certain he is colluding with the Sanctum as well. Mm. So we're after a man of faith, huh? I do not trust the Sanctum whatsoever. But I thought I may need their help if I were to someday raise the flags of rebellion against Rundall. This is why I initially approached Jeter. Makes sense. So this Jeter was the one who filled your head with half-truths and sweet little lies. Correct. It's the Sanctum who benefits most from dividing Rundall and Heinler. Maybe following this smell of blood will reveal what exactly Jeter and the Goga clan are up to. <sighs> are you afraid to uncover the truth, Princess? Not at all. Lead the way. wrong you there Ravelka was it <sighs> come with me you mean just the two of you princess Alaya I ask that you stay here with Odoa what is going on here I'll need you to look after her highness don't take your eyes off of her if it must be done, then I guess I'll be doing it. Let's go. Fine. Well, this is mighty uneventful. You do realize that Grifford and Ravelka have only been gone mere moments? Argumentative, little princess, aren't you? <sighs> There's something I've been meaning to ask you since I first laid eyes on you at Rundall Castle. Oh, and what might that be? How courtly of you to be so ready to court me! What's your deal? Huh? I had been to Rundall many a time before, but not once had I seen you there. Moreover, 
attire. How are you not freezing to death? Feeling the cold is just proof that your heart isn't as hearty as it should be. I was born in Venice and raised in Venice. One thing led to another, and after my motherland was destroyed, I came to Rundal. In fact, Javen himself invited me to join him at his side. But I belong only to his fierceness, King Moraga, so I had to put down Javen's advances with an iron fist. I'm not really following, but I take it you are with Rundal for now then? That's the short of it, yes. Is there anything else you want to know? Now's your chance! The vault is open and the great Aldoa is ready to share! No, I think I've heard enough. Oh! Uh, I see. The scent of blood grows stronger. That it does. Unfortunately, that also means we've got a couple of problems to deal with. This is why the smell of bloodshed is never a good thing. What say we make quick work of this lot and push on, eh? Agreed. The trail seems to lead to the bottom of this cliff. Looks like it. Perhaps a severely wounded person was dumped off the edge here. Or... They dived off to save themselves. Unlikely, but not out of the question. What are you doing? I'm going down to see for myself. Uh... Don't worry your little head. I'm not asking you to join me. Not what I am concerned about. Oh, so you were worried about my safety. <sighs> you wait here. If anything happens, forget about me and head straight back to Princess Alaya and Old Doa. Got it. Fine. She still has breath left in her. Do you recognize her? It's Lady Effinger. Effinger, you say? That makes her one of the Six Fangs. This Jeter character isn't messing around. We should hurry back to Princess Alaya. Agreed. No! Don't panic. She still breathes. to her. 
I found her at the bottom of a cliff. There was someone else down there with her. Someone else? You didn't tell me that! There was no point mentioning it. What? Who was this other person? Revelka, did you not see them? I am sorry, my lady. Grifford insisted I wait at the clifftop. Why did you not save them as well? Because it was too late. They were too far beyond saving. This Effinger, as you call her. When I found her, she was cradling the bloody severed head of a man. Who is to say that wasn't your doing? There are things that are okay to say and things that certainly aren't. Tell us the truth. Why don't you ask the lady yourself when she awakens then? Hang in there. Princess Alaya? Yes, it is me. I am glad you're alive. I am so very, very glad. But... Isaac... He... He... What about Isaac? Was he with you when this happened? He... Protected me! <laughs> From whom? Who did this to you? It was Jeter! <sighs> he had Goga Shinobi with him. They... They took Isaac's head. And then, they turned their blades on me. I just wanted to protect Isaac as he fell from a cliff. And then, I was holding his head in my arms as I fell too. I was overcome with the desire to leave this world at Isaac's side, and I... I... There is simply no point in continuing to live in a world without him. But then, this man here saved me. That's when I realized I must cling to life no matter what. For that is the only way to wreak my revenge on that wretched traitor, Jeter. Mind if I ask you something? Why was this Jeter out to kill the two of you? Because we were in his way. At least that's what he said. If only we Rundal sympathizers would disappear, then the division between our two countries would worsen beyond reconciliation. I believe that's what he was thinking. Hmm. You can leave this Jeter scum to me. I shall make him pay for his sins with his life. You just focus on recovering from those wounds. You hear? <laughs> what is it? I am sorry that I doubted you. Think not of it. It's better to be suspicious than to believe everyone and anyone. Where are you off to then? First, I think I shall pay a visit to the village of Goga. 
This was not just Jeter's doing. That Shinobi village deserves to be razed to the ground as well. I shall accompany you. What about Effinger? Revelka, I leave Effinger in your care. But, Lady Elia! I shall be all right, so please, just look after her. Yes, my lady. Fear not. I shall keep her highness safe. <sighs> and I will be joining you both in the festivities. This whole affair has put an icky fire in my belly, and I'm ready to be doing something about it. Let's get moving, then. You sense it too, I see. Yes. The presence that surrounds this village. Their enmity and hostility is so strong they are unable to hide it. But that would mean... That the Goga clan is also aware of them. Is it some kind of revenge attempt? Surely it shall only end in failure. There's something I need to tell you. Does it concern the force that surrounds this village? So, you are already aware of them too? We believe they are from Saiga, a rival clan of Shinobi that has history with Goga. The Saiga clan... I see. What does Goga plan to do about them? Pretend they haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary, then lure their prey into attacking. Goga already has its own forces surrounding Saigas from further outside their perimeter, you see. As soon as the Saiga clan make their move, Goga shall finish them off. I see. Nivlu, you intend to side with Saiga, do you not? Was it that easy to tell? It wasn't Rundal that wiped out our V-clan, but the Shinobi of Goga. As such, I can never forgive them. What if I told you, now is not yet the time? Clans Lady Livla, you know I would follow any order you give me, but please grant me this one deed. I expected you would say as much. <sighs> but Goga are formidable. Are you sure you can emerge victorious? In all honesty, I am not. However, the reason I joined Goga was to take revenge against Rundal. But that was all based upon a lie. It was Goga who destroyed our homeland all along. You were merely a victim of their deceit. It is true that I was deceived, yes. But I grew intoxicated with the power that was Goga. I fantasized that I had grown stronger and important, but I had only grown arrogant. And the innocent people of Saiga met a cruel fate at my hand. That is why I believe I must now make amends for at least one of my many sins. No matter what danger I must face to do so. It appears you are quite adamant about this. I am.
What are your thoughts on the matter? Nevelu is the most compassionate and kind young woman. We can only hope she does not do anything reckless. It is quite the quandary. Yes, it is indeed. Any movements from Goga? They don't seem to have noticed our presence yet. How long do you intend to hide there? Why don't you come out and join us? Huh? Naya! After Rundle Castle went up in flames, I thought you left with Mariel. So, why are you out here then? I cannot let Goga go unpunished. That is why. Rundal was our common enemy, so I believed Goga was my ally. But after working with them, I came to understand. With my own ears, I heard what their real objective is. They intend to capture Princess Elia and use her as a bargaining chip with Heinler. Goga cannot be trusted. I finally realize this now. So I thought I should side with the Saiga clan. I thought this would be the quickest way to see Goga pay for all they have done. So here I am. Fair enough. Welcome aboard. You mean... It would be reassuring to have you on our side. Yes. By all means, please lend us a hand. Uh... Are you having second thoughts already? We are not like Goga. We won't betray you. I'm in. I shall lend you my hand. <laughs> Thank you. The sun shall be setting soon. And that's our signal to ambush them. That's a rather lazy plan. You do realize we are currently surrounded. What are you saying? We're the ones who are doing the surrounding. You never learn, do you? Ketone, are we truly surrounded? Unfortunately, we are, sister. In that case? We either retreat or face an honorable death. Well, I'm not choosing either of those options. Huh? I say we crush them! S slow down for a minute, Alim. We were just told that we are the ones being surrounded. What I'm suggesting isn't reckless. During the battle at Rundal Castle, Goga lost many of their shinobi and plenty more were wounded. Marielle probably hasn't recovered from her wounds yet, either. In other words, you mean you don't think we're going to be all that outmatched in the end? That's right. Besides, if the enemy has us surrounded, that just means there won't be as many shinobi in the village itself. We only target Marielle, then. I see. You have thought this through indeed, Alim. Despite appearances, I am still the chief of Saiga, you know. If we let this opportunity slip through our fingers, then we might not get another one. You're not wrong about that. I heard what you said earlier. We are thankful you are aiding us. But under no circumstances are you to do anything reckless. Understood. Marielle should be in the chieftain's house. That's right. 
Let's head in together and aim for there. The sun is setting. Okay, let's go. Saiga has come to take you down! There's no point getting your beauty sleep anymore! Time to face... Alan. Huh? Something is not right. But... That's definitely Marial. Smell something burning. What the? What is going on here? Everyone outside, now! Long time no see, Honky Town. Mia, did you? Did you kill Maria? Of course I did. She was all wounded and barely able to move. But even then, she kept talking like she was still in control. But there's no way a useless wretch like her could lead Goga properly. So, from now on, I'm the chief of Goga. And I won't be cutting anyone any slack. To get the ball rolling, I think I'll execute you all here and now. <laughs> 